Let your tongue lie and see how it goes. It's useless to lie to the man that knows. Now, B Master, those are my lyrics for a character that I created 40 years ago that's, uh, that is going to be in a book called the Solomon Series. That will, uh, I started writing 40 years ago and I'm still working on today. Okay, we're doing the second half. Now let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Let me see if I can. Uh, hmm. See if I can pull up uh, something that from Jimmy. Now, also, folks, let me let me make you aware. I am setting up an event in Arizona in conjunction with the Cochise County Sheriff's Department, in conjunction with Harley Davidson, in conjunction with the veterans, and the goal, no homeless vets. No homeless vets. I think it's a shame. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a shame that we've got uh, veterans here that went out and fought for us overseas and they come back to this country and they're ignored and they're homeless. That's uh, that to me that just ain't right. Okay. Too bad my link don't work on that one. All right. Well, our founding fathers guessed, my guest, Rabbi Ted, we call him Rabbit, who's been kind of a pain in the ass, but he's been kind of cool recently, so I've, I've let him in here. I've let him stay for a little while. And uh, the the new book that I've written. Test, 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 test. Ha <laughs> ha! This is my friend Jimmy Gray. We sat around uh, a day room in prison and test, wrote test, test. these songs. Put us down. No, not that one. In the restaurant, the main dish gets me nervous because I ain't got all the time. It should be mere moments. Continue, God. Ah, and Lyra hears me. That's the way life works. Um, good evening. Oh, man, it is. I enjoyed that so much. I always do, though. You know, I like you. I like the way you play, man. You, uh, you got a gut bucket feel, and you know, I like it. Uh, my name is Mama Says, and uh, really I have Jimmy to tell you, I was I, I took this uh, assignment tonight with a little trepidation. Okay, trepidation. let me move up, um, skip up. <clears throat> when Lyra said she wanted me to be a part of this, I told her I didn't really didn't know what I could bring to the table that would be any different than what I was doing, and she said, well, it's going to be easy. Just take some of your best songs and put them all together and make a show. And I said, okay thought that's what I've been doing all along, but uh, you just never know. So um, I'm going to do some of my original stuff for you, and, and gosh, I hope you like this. Um, I write odd songs. I'm an odd person, and, and they come out kind of odd. This is something that I wrote um, about three weeks ago. I'm not even sure it's done yet. It's, it's at that point. I'm, I'm just looking at it and thinking, you know, it's not a bad little tune. It's a thing called Out on the Road. I hope you like it. Now let me move this ahead of here. I found my right where I'm doing this here. It is a great show, man. I enjoyed it. And Francois, I believe, is up gonna gonna be up at and where I'm coming from on this. The um the movie was a libertarian America in the near future, where victimless crime had been abolished and uh it 
if it didn't have a victim, it wasn't a crime, and there was a lot of other stuff that was going on. But there was a lot of corruption in, in uh, law enforcement. And um, there was a, the, the main protagonist um, against the law, the law officials was a guy named Solomon. It was called Solomon's Song. And Solomon had magic, and that's what kept him alive. Um, otherwise, he'd have been dead and buried long before this. But it, uh, this was the song that, that was supposed to be the theme for this movie. It's a thing called Phoenix, Bird of Destiny. Rainbow bird flies so high, so proud, so great, so free, the feathers of fire. Light the sky and your spirit is one with me. Your wings span the mighty ocean. Your eyes see everything. The slightest of your emotions can make the continents ring. Get in all your might and glory vanish from the skies. Even just another story amidst millions of man-made lies. You tell of how you fell from the sky, your once proud beauty of flame. You vanish from your throne on high, leaving only a memory of your name. Rainbow bird, mighty phoenix, come once more into the eyes of man. Ancient days of Atlantis, centuries numbered ten times, ten times ten. Still a few wise men whisper, say that you will come again. And once more man will prosper beneath your rainbow wing. On your mighty far-fleck back, there shall stand that man. His words will be for the voice you lack, guide for the race of man. Oh, rainbow bird, mighty phoenix, come once more into the eyes of man. From the ancient days of Atlantis, centuries numbered ten times, ten times ten. Ten times, ten times ten. Ten times, ten times ten. Oh, thank you so much. And Amy, thank you. And uh, Iz, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, that was, it was actually going to be an orchestral arrangement of that song. And then uh, later in the, in the show, there were several scenes where... Um, the guy would be just sitting and playing acoustic and the scene would, would dissolve into him doing a song and uh, that was one of them we were going to do it as a reprise later um, it is thank you so much for that great tip I appreciate that so much um, this is another song from the movie it was a scene where um, oh Francois thank you so much it, it was a scene where a young girl a runaway um, was about to be assaulted by uh, several police officers. Now, I, I told you this was a very anti-police movie, so uh, that ha it doesn't have anything to do with my personal feelings about the police. <laughs> Believe me. But um, in this in this particular sense, they were they were after this girl, and Solomon stepped in and rescued her. Um, the next morning, in her gratitude, she tried to throw herself at him as. A reward for having saved her she was so grateful you can understand um, and he re rejected her and she was feeling kind of depressed about it she didn't understand the whole situation and uh, oh Lyra thank you so much for that great tip and she wanders into a uh, into a, a practice room where the guy is playing guitar and um, this was going to be the song that he sang to her it's a thing called Margaret my dear <laughs> It was 
sit by my side My my partner by dear So So the tail I must tell will fall in your ears A a young young man man, Grown old for his time A tale tale of the magic in your life and mine Once I walked only the well-trodden way And I only found a light in the light of the day Tasted the love of a well-meaning wife I left her crying for that wild side of life Then, and I and saw that the new days had just come again. again. I saw the might and glory that once was a man. I know I can revive it if anyone ever can. Cause I'm a god, I'm a dragon, and I'm only a man. The devil, I'm a demon. Won't you please take my hand? I'm a pusher, I'm a prophet. I'm a poet and lord. I'm a wizard and a warrior with the key. I'll tell tales to entice you, take me to bed. Then I'll I'll take you to places inside of your head. Just when you think that you can't live alone, I'll teach you your house is really not your home. Actually, the next few songs are... All right. Now, let me... Got a few minutes left here. Let me tell you what I'm putting together here in Arizona. This is for bikers in Arizona. It's for the veterans. It's a benefit for the veterans. And it's a benefit for the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff wants some answers. And we've tried to come up and give him some answers. Try to do that. And what I put together here is going to be kind of featuring Liberty Villagers. I will be speaking of the thing, and I will be running my whole idea by for the farmers and the people. We're gonna we're gonna bring a lot of people into this, and not just bikers. They'll come to see the bikers because it's going to be in Tombstone. This is a a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's Veterans Day 11-11 in Cochise County, the land of legends. I figure we just start another legend there. The goal? No homeless veterans. Now, the sheriff wanted to bring attention and needs help because he is a little overtaxed trying to keep up with the whole business of illegals, the invasions of the ranchers, the drug running. He's a little overwhelmed. And hard to protect everybody. So what I propose to do is introduce the veterans to the ranchers, show them how they can work together, how they can help each other, how they can both make money out of this and get the support of the community around them. It's called Liberty Villages. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a $20 per bike entry fee, drink and food discounts, all over the state, uh, uh, the, the county of Cochise. And uh, oops, got to change that. Okay. Hmm. 
the uh, this is sponsored by Larry Deaver, Cochise County Sheriff. The Harley Davidson dealerships will be taking place in this. These will be some of the stops. One of the stops is the beautiful Gadsden Hotel from 1907, established 1907 in Douglas, Arizona. That'll be the the and and you can get a half price room there if you want to take the ride down there and stay overnight there after you visited uh, Tombstone and all that. Don't know exactly how we'll handle that, but then uh, there'll be a ride leaving probably from Tombstone to go down to the Gadsden Hotel and through Bisbee. That's the way we'll organize it. We'll we'll meet in in Tombstone. We're going to meet at the OK Corral, at least the street in front of the OK Corral. We'll see how that's going to happen. We'll see how that's going to play out. They hold up. Yeah, uh, if up there on the website here, I've got the whole executive order thirteen seven one one three five seven five. The establishment of the White House Rural Councils and what they're trying to do. They say sixteen percent of America's population lives in rural counties. That ought to be forty percent, folks. Strong, sustainable rural communities are essential to winning the future and ensuring American competitiveness in the years ahead. These communities supply our food, fiber, energy, safeguard our natural resources that are essential in the development of science and innovation. Those are Obama's words, not mine. This is his executive order. And I agree with him on that point. And that's what the Liberty Village is uh, supposed to be. The writing's on the wall. If you want to retain a shred of this, uh, the freedoms granted you by God, you're going to have to shake the chains of dogma and controlled propaganda that passes for mainstream media and get organized. Not as a gang or a giant group led by leaders you can't see or talk to. You're going to have to rise to another level and use the ways I've outlined in Liberty Village for you and your family's protection. Large, large organizations need large money to run ads in the same media that's being used to suppress you. Learn to be self-sufficient. Become prepared. Stand together with true patriots. We're not the bad guy. The militia is you. Now, I agree with President Obama. That's what Liberty Village was designed long before he came into the picture. But the key is in his next sentence. The rural communities face numerous channels, challenges. They also present enormous economic potential. The federal government has an important role to play in order to expand access to the capital necessary for economic growth, promote innovation, improve access to health care and education, expand outdoor recreational activities to enhance the federal government's efforts to address the needs of rural America. This order establishes a council to better coordinate federal programs and maximize the impact of federal investment. But what we're talking about folks is Agenda 21 fusion centers federal control. We have to stop that. That is not the way to do it. This is not a government of the banksters, by the banksters, and for the banksters. This is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. This is what it's about. And um, farmers, ranchers, you know, if, if if you die, can you you got an inheritance tax, folks? You can't leave that land to your children. If you set it up in a trust, the Liberty Villages trust, then it can be passed down to your descendants, to their descendants, and it'll always make money. If you're driving down a rural highway and you see uh, a, a nice lit up restaurant, a nice lit up compound with teepees there, looks like an old Indian village. Well, and you see a vacancy sign and you see free coffee, hemp coffee. We're going to serve free hemp coffee at these villages because hemp is good for you. We're going to use these gift shops to and these restaurants to educate people and make them healthy and grow food in a natural organic way. If we gotta if we gotta build greenhouses to protect them from chemtrails, we'll do that. And if we're working together to improve our local environment, we're talking about self sufficiency, we're talking about about sovereignty, and the government doesn't want you to do that. 
They say uh, they they don't want you working together. They don't want you being self-sufficient. They don't because if you grow your own food and generate your own energy, you're not paying the banksters. Thomas Jefferson told us. Thomas Jefferson told us that if you ever allow a private bank to issue your money, the banks and the uh, corporations that spring up around them will leave your children homeless in the land that we conquered. Now folks, it's exactly what's happened here. I have answers. I need to finance that. I need donations. I need to sell some books. I need to go up to uh, Quartzsite. I need to go down to Tombstone. I need to go down to Douglas. I gotta have the money to travel on. I need you to make a donation today. Today. You can do it to Clay at FreeAmerican.com at PayPal. For twenty uh, for twenty dollars donation, you can have the book of your choice and you can be reading it tonight. One bloody alabaster eye, deadly flashes of silver, or the uh, Mystery Babylon, the New World Order Unveiled. I've got all these available. I need your support. I need your help. And instead of somebody uh, trying to, to sit around trying to find some kind of fault with something I do, oh, oh, uh, sadly, right or wrong, the actions of your blog TV operators also reflect on you because those are the people you've chosen to act with your interest. You just finished talking about Germany. May I can't. Come on, folks. We don't need that. We need donations. We need your help. We need your support. This is the, these kind of characters are the people that are out there to divide and conquer. Go to THC Ministries of Arizona and read the whole story about the Zionist among us, the story of Lee Bracker. Check it out, folks. And God bless you, and thank you for listening to me. Did it again. Welcome to Talk. <laughs> Your entry is not valid, or your call is not scheduled at this time. Eight. Welcome to Talk To. Please enter the call ID, followed by... Your entry is not valid, or your call is not scheduled at this time. Enter your PIN, followed... You are now joining the call. Recorded live. You are unmuted. Call recording has been completed.
We're gonna rise up with the sun in the morning. We're gonna start each brand new day with a prayer. Because without the love and kindness of our Lord and our Savior, we sons of liberty can't get anywhere. We're gonna do the work our Lord puts before us. There's a job that surely needs to get done. The job of waking up the nation to the new world order, which is trying to put us under their thumb. We ain't gonna wait around any longer. We ain't gonna hesitate anymore. Now that we've opened up our eyes and analyzed the situation, we realize that we're in a war. And it's a struggle for the life of our nation. For the survival of our sovereignty And it's a battle for the heart, mind, and soul of the people For our freedom and our liberty And so we ain't gonna fight for the new world order We ain't gonna train to be no UN soldier And we ain't gonna give the enemy no more aid nor quarter Cause we ain't gonna fight for the new world order to your global plantation? Well, I don't think so. We're gonna fire off some letters to Congress. We're gonna put them with our faxes and phone calls. We're gonna tell them we the people that put up with their trees and with their stealing and their stalling and stone walls. And if they keep forgetting... What happened to Ted? Taxes, you might as well not pay them any more taxes. What happened to the rabbi? He's almost been human. Anybody got any any idea here? What happened? Did he wake up one day and realize he was nothing but an asshole and, and, and turn over a new leaf?